And welcome back to American Agenda. We've got a lot to talk about regarding this latest breaking news event. Uh, President Trump, he's been found civilly liable here in New York City. He's been ordered to pay $364 million. The judge, Judge Engeron, also bans him from engaging in any kind of business activity here in New York City for three years. His sons for two years, of course, they will be appealing. All right, let's 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 discuss. Joining us now, former federal prosecutor Doug Burns. Also with us, Newsmax host Tom Basili. All right, Tom Basili, you're joining the fray here. What do you think about this? Uh, Letitia Jane, she campaigned on this. She did. She did campaign on it. And I think it's really important for us to realize that we're witnessing something that has never mm -hmm. happened before. And it's not just that he's a former president. This mm -hmm. type of ruling... Uh, this type of penalty for what he was accused of doing has, we've never seen this before. And then you add to it the fact that in the last, let's say, year, the former president has now been, has now, is now facing $452 million in various judgments against him. And you, you, you do, you do say to yourself, what the heck is going Expand on? Expand on that. I, Tom, I'm interested to actually hear your opinion on because this. And what I was, we are witnessing history the prosecution of the former president, who's currently the front runner for the GOP nomination again. And, and every single time it goes before a jury, it seems that the, the amount is so punitive because they're out, they are literally out to get him. Um, and you know it really is uh, it really is extraordinary that we're witnessing this remember you know the the banks didn't lose any money they made money mm -hmm. on these purchases they did their own investigation so there was no victim here everybody made money nobody complained we had a we have a pol a, a, a hyper politicized attorney general's office that wanted to steamroll over Donald Trump and that is exactly what they have done. And you have a Democrat judge who had no competition, uh, who has a 10-year, uh, who has a 10-year term, uh, who is now wanted to be a hero to the people in the Democratic Party in, in Manhattan where he's where he's elected. And he this will is be. what you got. He right? will be. And, and Doug Burns, you, you have Kevin O'Leary, Mr. Wonderful, not so long ago. He said every real estate developer everywhere does this. Yeah, no, and no he's question. not a political yeah. guy, and he's, yeah. he should every person that engages in any type of real estate transaction, should they be worried? Of course, but working off of Tom's point, it's, well, I fault the Trump. judge. I fault the judge more than the, pro the prosecutor, Letitia James. She's horrible. She ran on, I'm going to get a particular person, but it's up to the mm -hmm. judge to have a fair proceeding. It's up to the judge yeah. to sit forward in his seat when evidence develops that there was independent appraisal work done by the banks. Nobody lost any money. A judge is supposed to, be, oh, okay, I want, I'm interested in that. This judge didn't want to hear any of it. And he said that. Nothing. He said, exactly. I don't want to hear your client's explanation. Donald Trump, exactly. you, you can like Donald Trump, you can hate Donald Trump, but the fact of the matter is nobody knows New York real estate, the business, like Donald Trump. He's in that courtroom trying to explain how he comes to these, how he came to these conclusions, how he deals with the banks and his lenders and everything Absolutely. else. And the judge said, we don't need to hear your client. And in yeah. the so, previous New York case, he wasn't allowed to defend himself either on the so, stand. So it's on appeal, Look. on appeal, there, there were a lot of things that were preserved by the Trump folks yes. on appeal, right. and they're going to be able to now file this appeal and, and, and list those as, as actionable items for the, uh, the court of appeal. Gentlemen, appeals. I feel the energy coming.